when I go through my vineyards, uh, I get some, a lot of energy back. So I know I do the right thing. So if you were drinking wine in the mid 80s, you might have heard about the Austrian wine scandal, which happened in the middle of the decade. And that's actually something which is still talked about today. Thankfully, Austria has moved on as a country from that time. But it is something which defined the Austrian wine industry that we know today and has defined the style and the quality of the wines that are made today. Back in the mid 80s, a couple of the top Austrian winemakers, or certainly top in terms of volume, were discovered to be adding what is essentially antifreeze to their wines in order to increase the, the viscosity and the richness on the palate, which was something which was a real factor in, in how highly regarded the quality of a wine was. Luckily, since those dark times, Austria's winemakers realised that if they ever wanted to be taken seriously again, they had to put quality first. And artisan winemakers such as Birgit Braunstein have strived to do just that, transforming the reputation of Austria into that of an exciting and incredibly high quality wine producing country. Birgit is a winemaker who works by biodynamic principles, a winemaking method that sees the vineyard as a holistic entity and includes planting by moon phases, the use of homeopathic preparations, and the keeping of livestock. The smell of the goose. Good smell, it's a ripe smell. Uh, we have a small a little farm. Uh, and uh, a yeah. small ranch. <laughs> uh, You're being eaten by a goat? Yes, yes, yes. She, uh, I think uh, uh, he is a. It's a, it's a boy. It's yeah. a boy, they're yeah, the worst. Yes, it's a boy. <laughs> yeah. And um, so the, the, we take about, care about the soil, about the plant. Yeah. And, um, and it's very important for me to work with people. Mm -hmm. So we have employees about 20 years. Mm -hmm. They are also part of the mem member of the family. And so they are relationship. And also it's important to have animals. And uh, you feel it. Mm -hmm. you, you feel this soul. In, in the winery, yeah, and you come here and you smile. So it really becomes very much a way of life. Way of life, yeah. But it's nice to produce a, a, a glass good of, uh, of a perfect wine. Mm -hmm. But it's 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 a real uh, uh, um, passion, and it's my love that to to have healthy soil, healthy plants, and to also be a part. Um, of this, yeah, do they care about the nature? They, they care about our plan, also about planet. Yeah. To help us understand more about her philosophy, Birgit takes us to her vineyards, where it was immediately obvious that she had a very special connection to this place. Critics of biodynamics will point out that there is no scientific evidence to back up what's seen as the wackier aspects of the practices, but wine lovers often agree that the extra love and care shown to these wines can make them very special indeed. So uh, biodynamic, it's a kind of probably holistic system, uh, a holistic approach. Uh, and uh, let me start with the differences uh, of organic and conventional production. So uh, the differences in organic that you we don't use any chemical uh, fungicides and uh, herbicides. Uh, there is no um, chemical pesticides used. Uh, biodynamic method is uh, the highest by organic certification, and it's a kind of um, a holistic uh, system because we look at the impulse of the earth. Earth is mother earth is growing in springtime. It wants to, to it wakes and the plants are want to go grow out. And this is an impulse we uh, enforce with a kind of preparat we use. It's the so-called 500. Uh, we spray it on the earth, um, and uh, you see it after a while that we that there is um, a power there, vivid here, and um, nature is growing. Seeing the land that inspires Birgit so much, it's hard not to feel an affinity for the wines she creates. For her, it's not just winemaking, it's a way of life that relies on harnessing nature in its purest form. You have always written nice things on your barrels. 
to be different. It's be fine. different. Yeah, it's good. Mm-hmm. Why not? Okay. After showing us some of the biodynamic preparations which she believes give the vine strength and vitality, she takes us to the top of her vineyard, to the site of an ancient Celtic burial ground, a place which is really special to her. You feel that energy. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. It's quite rejuvenating. Yeah, yeah. There you go. And if you want to, go on. because we have some wishing trees. Hey, look at this. The, the so year we can is tie beginning. something onto our wishing tree. Yeah. What a good way to start the year. Yes. So pull a bit off then. Yes. Right. What do you think, that much? That's perfect. Thank okay. you. Okay, I'm going to I'm tie it on anywhere I like. Is that right? Uh, I'm going to try and do it without exposing too much of my underwear. Yeah. Just like that? It's perfect. Mm-hmm. Super. Perfect? Yeah. Oh, I feel good now. I wish I, Thank that you. all your wishes come wishes come true. Thank you very much. How special. You're welcome. Thanks. Whatever you think about this holistic approach, it's undeniable the Birgit's vineyards are an incredibly invigorating and uplifting place to be.